How can you make primary RE really appealing to your class? Well, here on Resource Review, we're looking at three resources that might help. A set of DVDs about the Bible, a teaching pack about creation that's centered around a set of pictures, and a book about preparations for the Islamic festival of Eid. Find out what our panel think here on Resource Review. Recommending our three primary RE resources today is our subject expert, Dr. Sarah Smalley, Chair of the Association for RE Inspectors, Advisors and Consultants. To discuss those resources is Ray Barker, Director of the British Educational Suppliers Association, and Alan Mills from the Specialist Schools and Academies Trust. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Sarah, let's begin then with Pathways of Belief. And today we're looking at the Bible version. Can you just explain what this resource is and uh, why you chose it? Thank you. It's a two programme DVD pack and it's got supporting materials uh, to use with it. It's got a pack of pictures and some a booklet of teacher materials. Um, I chose it because it's often difficult for teachers to teach about Christianity as a world religion. There's a wealth of good resources for RE now for all the world religions, but people still find it hard to take that step back as far as Christianity is concerned and teach it in the same way as they would other faiths. Yeah. Um, and this uh, set of programs helps them to do that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Before we discuss it any further, let's see this resource in action in the classroom. We visited Dublin's primary school in Leicester, where Deputy Head Teacher Peter Greaves is using the resource. First resource I'm using is a Pathways of Belief DVD from the BBC. Um, there are two uh, packs that I've looked at. The first is on the Bible, and the second is on the Quran. Today I'm going to use the creation chapter from the, the Bible DVD, and it does an interview with a guy who's written something called the Street Bible which First puts the, the Bible into more Nothing. modern language. No light, no time, no substance, no matter. Second off, God starts it all up and whap, stuff everywhere, the cosmos in chaos. And that fits into my lesson on looking at how Christians over the years have tried to explain their answer to this big question. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The reason I really like this resource is it's got a very contemporary feel. It shows real Christians and how they look at the creation story today and it shows how they respond to the, the questions and the issues in a way that the pupils can relate to. Christians believe that the story says that the world was made in six days and God rested on the seventh. That's the bare bones of the story. But it means so much more than that to Christians. The notes that go with it, I'm not sure as good as they could be, but the background information for teachers is good. And particularly on the, the Quran one, I think maybe that would fill in some gaps in teachers' knowledge. The, the Pathways of Belief DVDs are really useful, uh, really contemporary, really positive, really good. Well, Sarah, the teacher there was clearly very enthusiastic about this resource, but he did have one criticism. He thought there was room for improvement with the, the accompanying notes for teachers. Is that a fair criticism, do you think? Yes, I think it probably is. With a resource like this, you don't know how people are going to want to use it, and I think the teacher's notes are really just pointers as to some of the kinds of things that you could do. Um, and as the teacher we saw in action said, there is some very good background material for teachers here, so I think there's quite a lot of support. Um, I think the other thing I'd want to say about it is all of these holy books were written for adults and they're actually quite difficult to get across to children and I think the two DVDs here make a very good job on that front as well. Ray, what do you think of Pathways of Belief? Um, I think it's, it's, it's a beautifully produced resource, I think that's the first thing to say and, and I think um, it has those essential teachers notes, it has the pictures. Um, it's going to be quite difficult I think 
to get away from the idea of it just being a quite expensive pack about one holy book and I think it does itself down because when you look at exactly what's in the pack it's a much wider kind of experience. Alan what are your views on this resource? Um, always slightly cynical about the the modern approach too because the best modern approach is sitting there in the classroom asking the children's responses and you get the up-to-date response but it's a very interesting resource and I agree it could be used in so many different areas not just in RE mm -hmm. and, you know if, if ch children don't know the stories from the Bible or don't know the importance of the Bible in English or any or humanities or anything else then they're missing out on something so it's across the whole curriculum not just RE. Great. And just finally a comment from you, Sarah, on how this one we've looked at focusing on the Bible yes. fits in with the rest of the series. There's the one on the Quran, which obviously is about another very important and central holy book for Muslims. Then there's a series of five programs about Christianity more broadly, three on Judaism and uh, a DVD with two each on Islam, Hinduism and Sikhism. Well, thank you all very much. Now let's move on to Sarah's second choice of resource. And this is something a little bit different called a picturing creation. Sarah, can you explain this resource to us, first of all? And then again, why did you choose it? Well, as you said, it is something a little bit different. It's a pack which uh, includes seven pictures uh, by a contemporary artist illustrating her interpretation of the story of the seven days of creation from the Bible. It's got a CD with the pictures and quite a lot of supporting materials on, uh, including um, an interview with the artist who painted them and it's got a really marvellous booklet of teacher ideas. Okay, well thank you very much. To see Picturing Creation in use we went back to Dublin's primary school and Peter Greaves. Now one way that Christians have tried to explain how they feel about how the world came to be is by using all the different colours of the rainbow to paint pictures and create art. The second part of my lesson is going to be using a resource called Picture and Creation, which is by RE Today Services. It's um, absolutely excellent. I'm going to be using this again to continue to explore how Christians today deal with this whole issue of how the world came to be. I'm going to give you one of the pictures that Kate Neal painted. Have a look at it. Um, if you're feeling brave, before you turn over, see if you can think what day it was. There's an, an excellent explanation of, of the background to the creation story and the part it plays in the Christian faith. It uses thinking skills, it uses experiential RE, it uses candles, it uses artefacts. It sets it out in a really user-friendly way. But the real clincher is they asked a, an artist to paint original paintings, one for each day of the creation. There's three bits of information that will be good to look at. The middle one is that part of the creation story. It tells you what happened on that day. Whenever you're dealing with something like the creation story, whether you like it or not, immediately children have pictures in their minds. And I think these pictures, which are slightly abstract, but not to the point where they're, they're um, unattainable for the kiddies, really gives them a, a canvas on which then they can put their understanding. The thing I like about this resource is it really gives you a chance. It's sort of shallow enough to paddle if you want to. It's deep enough to swim in. If you want to do a, a major topic, on the Christian creation story, then this is a superb resource to do it. I guess the only problem is that most schools will build this story into their programs of work, maybe once in a key stage. But if you have got to do the creation story and you're, you're looking at it, um, I think this is the best resource I've come across to do it. Well, Sarah, Peter Greaves clearly really liked this resource again, but there was one comment about it being relatively expensive for just one use. How would you respond to that? I think there's so much in this pack that you could use it in many different ways. For instance, if you were looking at religious attitudes to the environment, there's material there to support that kind of work. Wonderful disc set of discussion cards uh, that do all the work for you that you could use with slightly older children, or you could use it uh, very much as the teacher was doing on the video there uh, with younger pupils or indeed pupils of any age. Okay, can I come to you, Alan, and, and just say if you are trying to use these images with whole class teaching, a bit small, do you think? 
I think it probably is. I think the whole concept of the resource is, is wrong. I found the pictures slightly disappointing. I mean, very narrow, very, very limited. When you think of all the pictures of creation that have been created over the last, you know, God knows how many thousands of years, they weren't very exciting to me, and I thought the children probably would be very disappointed after a bit. OK, well, well Sarah, some <laughs> fairly harsh criticism there from Alan. How would you come back to that? Uh, I'd say it, try it in the classroom. All the teachers I've spoken to who've tried this resource have, have thought the complete opposite and said it went down fantastically well with their pupils across the whole primary age range. Right, OK. Well, Ray, what, I mean, what do you think about <laughs> this one? <laughs> well, I, I, I feel somehow that we're, we're back to specialist teachers again. And my concern would be that if you're not a specialist, then you might get too waylaid by the art and so you would end up with painting very pretty pictures in class but actually not learn anything about RE concepts of awe and wonder and or whatever you wanted to get out of that pack and I, I think that's that's where my problem would lie. Well thank you all now let's move on to our third resource it's a book and CD-ROM called Samira's Eid. So Sarah tell us about this resource. It's a big book about two children in an ordinary Muslim family looking forward to the celebration of Eid, the festival at the end of the month of Ramadan. Okay, and why do you like this one so much? It's a very friendly, colourful story about ordinary Muslim children. I think a lot of resources about Islam and a lot of coverage on the media generally uh, give the impression that Islam's a grim religion with lots of, lots of rules about what you must do and what you mustn't do. Mm -hmm. This just gives uh, a little slice of life in an ordinary Muslim family with two children looking forward to what the festival's going to mean to them. Mm -hmm. Can I go say straight away, I think it's lovely and I think it gives a completely different view of the home life of a Muslim which is mm -hmm. really necessary mm -hmm. and it does it in a lovely enchanting way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all of Mantra Lingua's stuff is, is, is very, very attractive. But I think this dual language aspect as well is really key. There are very, very few publishers now who can afford to do that dual language aspect. And, um, you know, to link with that big book, which has a great story in the, and the very young kids can empathise with exactly what the festival is about, as opposed to just making something or, or you know, doing something which a lot of kids do at festivals time. But great to see it, I think. Well, a popular resource there, Sarah. Final word from you on Samira's Eid. It doesn't go into too much detail. I right. see this as a key stage one resource. It doesn't go in depth into why Muslims fast at Ramadan, but it does illustrate an aspect of the life of a Muslim family. Excellent. Well, thank you all very, very much. That's all we've got time for today. But to recap, the three resources for primary RE that we looked at were... Pathways of Belief, DVD pack from BBC Children's Learning. Picturing Creation, Prints and CD pack from Christian Education Publications. And finally, Samira's Eid, Books and CD, published by Mantra Publishing. For more information about any of the resources that we've discussed here today for Primary RE and to post your own comments about other resources, go to our website. It's teachers.tv forward slash resource review. If you want to, email us. We're at resource review at teachers.tv. So a big thank you to our panel, to Sarah, to Ray and to Alan. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Resource Review. Bye bye. <laughs>